Subscribe to my channel Imam Salik. Bismillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah amma ba'd. My respected brothers, honorable elders, noble blessed people. This is the month Muharram, a sacred month. And we know that one day fasting during this month expiates the one complete year, the past one. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inni ahtasibu ala Allah an yukaffira sanata allati qablaha man saama yawma aashura whoever fasted the 10th of Muharram. That one day fasting will expiate and will forgive the past year's mistakes, shortcomings, you know, all those uh, sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ability to take benefit of these opportunities, these blessings. My brothers, wallahi, this time is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the 9th of Muharram, Hussein radiallahu an was martyred on the 10th of Muharram. On the 9th of, 9th of Muharram, the whole story is written in, in Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya, if someone wants to read it. After Isha Salah, they prayed Isha, and after the, from their tents in Karbala, Hussein radiallahu an, when he came out of his tent, he saw that the slave of Sayyidina Abu Dhar Ghaffari radiallahu an, he was in the, uh, you know, in the convoy, one of them. His name is Hudi. He is sitting outside of his tent and he is sanding his sword. Hudi is his name and he is the slave of Abu Dhar Ghaffari radiallahu an, and he is sanding his sword. When Hussein radiallahu an saw him, that he is sending the sword because they knew what is going to happen tomorrow, because they knew the intentions of the people from other side. So Hussein radiallahu an said some of the poetry, and that is also written in the books. And he said, Ya dahru uffin laka min khalili, kam laka bil ishraqi wal lasili, min sahibin aw talibin qatili, والدهر لا يقنع بالبديل والأمر, والأمر, إلى والأمر في ذلك إلى الجليل وكل حي صالك السبيل The last line is very heavy if we can understand والله كل حي صالك السبيل Every living being Every living being has to go to this path, has to, to travel on this path. What is that path? The path of death. Even the prophets, this one line fits on every living being, human beings and other living beings as well. Even the prophets, even the, the, the companions of the prophets. I was very young. And I was listening to one of the, the lectures of a scholar in a village. And he said, subhanAllah, these poetry, and he said, Do you know when a child is born, what we do? What we do? We call azan on the right ear, and we call iqama on the left side. What it means? There are two meanings of this. Number one, we are telling him Allahu Akbar. Allah, only Allah is the greatest. And the second message that we are conveying in the right ear and the left ear, that Azan has been called, Ikama has been called, get ready for your prayer. Get ready for your prayer. And which prayer is that? Which prayer is that? Funeral prayer. Do we know any Azan on funeral prayer? No. Is there any iqama on funeral prayer? No. So how a prayer without an azan and iqama? How? Azan has been called, 
Iqama has been called. Now it is a time for your prayer. It can be next second, it can be tomorrow, it can be day after tomorrow, it can be 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60, 70, 90, 80, whatever Allah has granted you time, but it is a time between Iqama and the Qiyam of Jama'ah when the Imam will say, Allahu Akbar. So my brothers, let us get ready. Our Adhan and Iqama has been called. So take the benefit of these days and nights. Muharram, sacred month. Not just Ashura, from the very first day till the end. Muharram is one of those months mentioned in the Quran, blessed and sacred in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to be very careful to please Allah, not to displease Him during this month. And we make intention, inshallah, that we fast the 9th of Muharram, the 10th of Muharram, or the 10th and 11th.